Well, good afternoon, Grace Bible Church. Today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020, and this is our pastor cast for this week. Well, as we head into this weekend, I'd like to remind you of a couple of things. And first of all, I'd like to remind you to be checking your email. And the reason for that is there might be a few updates we'll need to send out on Saturday evening or Sunday morning regarding our church services. And they could be anything from weather related to uh, changes to our services as a result of any court cases that might be coming up. So please make sure that you're checking your email. Second thing I want to remind you of is that we'll be celebrating the Lord's table this Sunday. So you can participate in three different ways. The first way that you can participate is by going to our in-person service at the courtyard. Now it's limited to 50 people, so you'll need to sign up at courtyard.graceforus.org. But you can go there starting at 9 a.m. and you can participate in the service. It's essentially a live stream that is broadcast to our courtyard and you can participate there with other saints who come to the service in person. Second way you can participate in person is by attending our Sunday evening service at 4 p.m. at Fair Oaks Church. Fair Oaks has been kind and gracious to allow us to continue to use their courtyard and their parking lot for our evening services. So I'd encourage you to go ahead and go there. If you have any questions about that, you can go to outdoors.graceforus.org. The third way you can participate in our Lord's Table services on Sunday is by streaming the services live at 9 a.m. at stream.graceforus.org. Now there you can participate. You just want to make sure that you have your elements already prepared so you don't have to jumble around during the service. Now we will only be publishing the streamed portion of the Lord's table. We will not be publishing a recorded version of it. So you'll want to make sure you're a part of that 9 a.m. service to participate in the Lord's table. Well, as summer turns into fall, our calendar here at Grace begins to fill up. And so we want to make you aware of a few things. First of all, we're going to start our discipleship training program, and that's going to start on September 17th at 7 p.m. Now, we're not sure if we're going to be doing this via Zoom or if we're going to be doing this via a live in-person classroom, but if you are interested in DTP this year, you're going to want to sign up at dtp.graceforus.org. Now, we'll begin this round of DTP with our new unit, The Gospel Story, which essentially is a discussion from Genesis through Revelation to really better understand how all the parts of Scripture fit together and how they all point towards Jesus. So if you've attended DTP in the past, but have yet to have gone through this, this new unit, The Gospel Story, I'd encourage you to go ahead and sign up at dtp.graceforus.org and attend that first unit. Now, if you're new to the whole concept of our discipleship training program, just a couple of notes. It's for members only, so if you ha haven't become a member yet, you can can start that process by contacting us at, at the church office or by emailing us at gbc at graceforus.org. We'll hope you'll be a part of this program and you'll grow in your knowledge and understanding and love of our Savior Jesus. Another ministry we want to make you aware of is Operation Christmas Child. Now, I understand it may be a little too early for us to be thinking about Christmas. However, Operation Christmas Child is a ministry that we've been participating in for a number of years. We fill a shoebox full of toys. We give it to Samaritan's Purse. They send it around the world. It goes into the hands of a needy child, and they get to hear the gospel. They get to take part in a discipleship training program called the greatest story. So I would encourage you to become involved in that again, begin looking at maybe Target or Walmart or a number of these various stores like Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store and to see what kind of gifts you might be able to give inside of that shoebox. Secondly, you could go to Samaritan Purse's website and choose to have a shoebox built for you. You can pay a fee to have that done and they will go ahead and send that shoebox out and you don't even need to bring anything to the church. Now, if you want to make your own box and if you want to deliver it to the church, we're going to have collection dates on November 1st and November 8th. Now, if you have any other questions, please feel free to email me or to call at the church office. 
Ladies, we'll begin a women's Bible study, and it's going to be going through a book called Zeal, a study through Titus. That's going to be on Thursdays and Saturdays. And to do and to be a part of that particular study, go ahead and connect with Kelly Judd. You can contact her either through the church office, via phone, or via email. We can connect you. Ladies, here are a couple other events that you might want to keep in mind. First of all, in October, there's going to be a Mary and Martha Monday. We have yet to determine a date where they'll be covering holiday appetizers. And if you need a test subject, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Second of all, in November, on November 7th, there's going to be the fall and winter baby celebration. So you'll want to put that on your calendar and, and make sure that you can attend. Finally, in December on the 12th, there's going to be the annual Christmas ornament exchange. So you want to keep those dates in mind. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're running the race that has been set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and perfect factor of our faith. Uh, I would encourage you to take part in our Lord's Table services, whether it's online via live streaming our 9 a.m. service or taking part in one of the in-person gatherings in the courtyard or in our evening service at Fair Oaks Church. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at the church office. Feel free to email me at bennison at graceforus.org. Family, I love you. I miss you. And I hope we'll see you soon.